Santa Fe 3751 is a 484 type steam locomotive built by the Baldwin Locomotive Works in 1927. It pulled both passenger and freight trains on the Santa Fe from 1928 until 1953. In 1958, it was donated to the city of San Bernardino where it sat in a park until a group known as the San Bernardino Railroad Historical Society purchased the engine from the city and restored it to operation from 1986 to 1991. Santa Fe 3751 has thrilled thousands of people pulling mainline excursions and attending special events nearly every year ever since. In May of 2010, the San Bernardino History and Railroad Museum hosted San Bernardino Railroad Days at the old Santa Fe Depot in San Bernardino, California. Thousands of people gathered at the depot on the weekend of May 8th and 9th, 2010 to see dozens of railroad-related displays and vending booths at the San Bernardino Depot. So successful was this event that the Railroad Days returned to San Bernardino in 2011 and 2012. On all three occasions, 3751 traveled from Los Angeles to San Bernardino to be displayed to the public. Join us as we follow Santa Fe 3751 on all three of these trips as 3751 steams to San Bernardino. A thick haze hangs over the downtown city skyline of Los Angeles on the morning of Saturday, April 21st, 2012. We are set up at the end of Kingston Avenue right next to the Los Angeles County USC Medical Center just a few miles east from Los Angeles Union Station. Upon leaving Los Angeles and crossing the LA River, the train will enter Metrolink's San Gabriel subdivision. This route was built by Metrolink in the early 1990s on a rehabilitated right-of-way that was once used by the Pacific Electric Railway for interurban service. At Pomona, the route will join with the surviving portion of the Santa Fe's Pasadena subdivision for the rest of the trip to San Bernardino. With the line all clear ahead, 3751 is now underway, steaming toward railroad days in San Bernardino. On a much clearer day in 2010, 3751 works hard upgrade just a short way to the east of the previous location. From here, the train will travel down the middle of the I-10 freeway until it reaches El Monte. the Metrolink San Gabriel subdivision parallels the Union Pacific Sunset route for a short distance through town. A troop of Boy Scouts has gathered at the Tyler Avenue grade crossing to watch the steam train pass by. The 3751 and train pass under the I-10 freeway on the east side of town. The train is about to cross to the other side of UP's sunset route on the Metrolink El Monte flyover bridge. The 
special excursion is moving at a good clip as it passes back under the 10 freeway and enters the city of Baldwin Park. After going under the 57 freeway, the train passes through some of the quiet community of San Dimas. side of Pomona, the Metrolink San Gabriel subdivision has met up with the old Santa Fe Pasadena subdivision. The train rounds the curve at the Pomona Metrolink station and passes by the old Santa Fe Pomona depot. 3751 is once again on home rails. Westbound Metrolink train 357 arrives at the Upland Metrolink station just six miles down the line. The special is holding on a siding just to the west of the Upland station at Montclair to wait for the Metrolink train to pass. The Metrolink train has now cleared the line in 3751 highballs for San Bernardino running at track speed. It's not difficult to imagine 3751 flying through here with one of Santa Fe's passenger trains such as the Super Chief, a sight that was commonplace just over 60 years ago. After a brief stop at the Rialto Metrolink station to pick up the mayor of San Bernardino, 3751 is once again moving toward its destination of San Bernardino just a few miles away. At last, the moment that everyone has been waiting for has finally arrived. 3751 pulls into San Bernardino after a successful trip to railroad days. San Bernardino railroad days is already filled with hundreds of visitors, taking in all the sights, sounds, and smells. BNSF has one of their brand new ES44 DC locomotives on display and Metrolink has one of their new Crash Energy Management Hyundai Rotom coaches open for touring. 
In addition to the Railroad Days event, there is a lot of freight traffic today on the BNSF Cajon subdivision passing through the station. A high-priority Z-train full of UPS truck trailers slows through the station before proceeding eastbound toward Cajon Pass. Shortly after, a westbound BNSF train full of steel coils passes by. The coil train has come to a stop to allow a Union Pacific train with trackage rights over Cajon Pass to clear the line. With the UP train out of the way, the coil train continues west toward Los Angeles. San Bernardino's classic Mission Revival-style Santa Fe Depot was opened in July of 1918. It served the Santa Fe Railroad up through the end of their passenger service. Today, the station continues to serve Amtrak's Southwest Chief as well as Metrolink commuter trains. On the return trip to Los Angeles the following day, we get a look out the vestibule of the California Zephyr Dome car, the Silver Splendor. The train has come to a stop just outside of El Monte to wait for a Metrolink that is picking up passengers at the El Monte station. Now that the Metrolink has left the station, 3751 is once again on the move. Most of the drivers on the I-10 must be surprised to see a steam engine running down the middle of the freeway. As 3751 nears Los Angeles Union Station, it brings the train across the LA River and past Mission Tower. While this structure is no longer in use today, it serves as a reminder of the historical significance of passenger rail travel in Los Angeles. With Union Station coming up around the next corner, 3751 completes another successful excursion out on the main line. <laughs> 